Kira kira haramai, greetings and welcome. I am a guru and we are back with the believers in Trumbull Valley fighting the dark side mod. Now, our status is looking a little better than it has in recent days. Our morale is stable and we also have pretty good resources. We've got 12 food and we're only using one a day. We've got eight meds, we're using two a day. Ammo is stable. We've got these materials, so full materials and fuel and we've got a decent amount of parts as well which is really good because what we want to do is we're going to destroy this and we're going to replace it with a workshop so we need to build one of those and get it upgraded real quick so there we go that keeps the materials under under spec so what are our goals our goals are i'm eyeing up the farmland compound even though it's 4,000 influence if we can clear it that's something that we can aim for however it's got at least two play carts around so it's got this one here and it's got this one here and while there are none down here I suspect there might be one over here so the plan is we're going to travel down here and search out these buildings because if we're going to go for the farmland compound we need to know exactly what we're up against and so far it's two feral plagued regenerating hearts so yay for us uh, uh, as well as all that I'd really love there to be a mysterious trader that pops up because we could really do with upgrading our vehicle we've only found one other vehicle on the map and that is at Maximilian there which is a long way away and guarded by a play cart and we really do need to start taking on play carts at, at some point um, so my I, I guess my decisions are first we've got to fight the siege but do we take on a nearby play card so that if we get into trouble we can retreat or pull our belts up and go for the farmland compound play card guardians that's going to be the that's going to be the decision to make first of all we have a zombie threat though so we better take that out. Keeping an eye out for screamers primarily. Also bloaters and juggernauts. Zombies coming in from that way. We should be all right. I mean, if we look, our attack risk is, oh, okay. It's up a little bit because we're building a workshop. And this is dark side mod, so. They're usually pretty good. I'll I mean, our uh, followers are usually pretty good at defending the uh, the back of the place, but they're not even there right now. Ball. Oh. Cool. So we've got an AK-47, and I think we've got a... I think we've got a PPSH going at the moment. So that's pretty good average zombie defense. Haha, hey, -ha, there we go. Easy. Uh, uh oh. Okay, there could be more coming. Yeah, we did all right. We got our 200 XP, and now we do a perimeter search. Always the perimeter search. We are, of course, with Remy, who is my survivor with incredible immune system, and that is going to come in dang handy. So that's plus 100 infection resistance. Doesn't make him immune, but it certainly uh, certainly helps protect him against the plague. Okay, so I didn't see anything creeping up on us, which is pretty good. We we're kind of lucky that the siege happened early on before a lot of the big freaks have spawned in. So we'll count our lucky stars and be done with it. So, question. Do we do another scavenge run? We've also got some pretty interesting options here. We can reduce base threat. Water and 1,718... 
materials will give us self-sufficiency in terms of power and water, which would be great. Um, at a lounge, if we've got power, we can do that. We'd need base wire power for that, I imagine. And a scavenge bonus. Generate all five main resources every day. Well, that's ridiculous. But we can scavenge for stuff. So oh, we don't have enough for that. Three ammo. Excuse me for consumables, Miss. Facility mods. Um, we might get lucky with that. So I'm going to do it. And then we're going to head on out there. As we were plan B and, uh, well, plan A, really. And see if we've found another play card out here. I suspect we will. But we'll just have to do our best. Car's a bit beaten up. We might just see whether we can uh, fix it up first. So, all right, start with a siege. Let's get it out of the way. I suppose at least now we know that uh, we should be okay for a siege for a while, which allow allows us to range across the map and uh, get back to base before the next one. We, of course, fight all our sieges because this is a cheeseless playthrough. We do not run from sieges. Wow, those headlights are bright. <gasps> oh, it's a mysterious stranger. I think you should come home and hear them out. Okay, well... They could possibly come with me, depending on what they want. Now, in previous episodes, I've been scratching my head. I believe some thank yous are in order. All right. Upgrade. It's all coming up, Millhouse. Where is our mysterious stranger? Oh, um, okay. We might have to meet him headway. Anyway, I was scratching my head wondering why I would sometimes, uh, for no reason, start healing. My character would start healing, and it turns out that in the mod uh, is a function. Well, not a function. Um, basically, if you have a follower with you, then um, they heal you. Which is a bit, uh, which is a bit unusual. But hey, that's how it is. I might have killed this person. Tell you what. We'll head back to base and hope that they turn up. Geez, that one just wasn't getting off. Oh, Screamer's going nuts. Let's get out of here. They can go nuts over there, so long as nothing brings them over, brings them across, we should be alright. Okay, so we were going to see what our mysterious stranger was about. But they're running from the from Marshall. Pass all sorts of evil. And we're not getting embroiled. Oh! Shivers, I've got my, um... Right. We're not using that, either. The, uh... The map marker. It was sending me to the wrong place anyway. So it just goes to show, I do not have the required amount, level of responsibility to use a map marker. In addition, I nearly flipped the car there. Norm had a good idea. If I flip the car, I was going to say that I can't write it, but he suggests that if I grab a follower and go to the car, then I can manually flip it. And I think that's a great idea. So that's, that's what I'm going to employ. Hopefully we'll never, ever have to use it. But we'll just see how we go. This looks like... Could be all right. Okay, the barn is looted. So let's stay away from that. Until we take out that nearby plague heart, this place can't really be secured. Wow, it is super bright. 
those headlights are off the hook jeepers creepers I'd say that's a that's a mod tweak as well. Oh, we're gonna have friends. Gonna have company. Unless we're lucky. So hopefully Flex will make his way to the base without leading all those zombies to it. Yes, we need more crossbow bolts. As I go through them like nobody's business. And that's what they're for. They're for shooting, right? And we've got two more. Wow, these headlights are something else. I haven't even got my flashlight on. I don't need it. Empty. Empty. Well, it looks like there may not be a play card in this area. Now, there is a warehouse and another house just down the way a little bit, so we'll check that. And we'll make sure that we're all good. It's noisy out there. So just down there. Nope, they're not even interested. So, are uh, these... Is this a play cart? That feels like a play cart. I can hear the play cart. I can smell the play cart. I can feel the play cart. Pretty sure there's a play cart there. So, let's, let's get ourselves a little bit of uh, distance from as much as we can. So, yes, play cart there, but it's out of range of the farm. So, that's good. You see, what, what, what I'm wondering is because the farm hasn't told me that it's got so many play carts um, surrounding it, that there are yet more to find... Now we know there's one down here, and we also know that there's some dead bodies which we can search. So there'll be one in there. This place, we had to uh, give some folks some mercy. See, as much as I'd like to take on a play car Doesn't even sooner, have they despawned? Ah, rats, they have. Nuts. Okay. So, where is our mysterious stranger? Did he make it back to base? He did. And it doesn't look like we're surrounded by hordes. So... Let's make our way back in that direction. Corral's horrible. Uh, there are eight containers in that farmhouse. However, I think I'm more tempted to go back and do that mission. I hate being in the cornfield at night. Can't see. Bloaters could be anywhere. All right, so that was a bit of a drive, but we learned something, and sometimes recon is probably worth more than uh, more than the house full of chemicals, which I'm still carrying because I didn't put it in the trunk of the car. Oh, he got off lightly. I only missed the corner by that much. Of course, I'm driving straight past the house. We just don't want uh, that guy wandering off. Hmm. Let's get going.
see if we can get back with a minimum of trouble. Squeaky door is good. You know when people are sneaking up on you. Alright, Flex. My community. I love you too, Florecita. Like. I'm over here. Hmm. I know, you're right in front of me. So, my community has been working on a biological concoction that's great for luring zombies. I'd like to share some with you. Okay. Sounds like fun. Gather the plague samples. Plague samples? That's easy. How many do you need? Gather five samples. Oh, well, we got, we got that right here. We don't have to go anywhere. However, I am lost in my own base. See, I'm getting healed. So that's, um, that's from the, uh, the follower, it turns out. This must be what we're looking for. Well, okay. Nice. Okay, we don't have that many. I appreciate that. I want you to have this. It's just my way of showing appreciation. <laughs> hey, see you later. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got a mysterious stranger. Now we just need a mysterious traitor. Wow, they gave me quite a lot. Okay. And there's one out the front. Wow, which way did she go? Up the road. She had a good gun. Give her that. Okay, so we've got 40 leg samples. Which is not loads, but it's not none. Daylight's coming up. We've got to start thinking about taking on a play cart. And I say thinking about it because we're still... Building our workshop. It's four minutes away because we will need several megatons of fire and we've got 17 minutes away for consumables, which might give me some stims. So all that aside, um, we're probably not going to go too crazy at this stage. Uh, ransacked garage. That would be... That would be cool to check out. And it's just up the road and we might even find a dead Red Talon agent. And all their weapons, which would be horrible. Oh no, Flex is dead. Well, he left a few plague samples for me. Which is good. Now this is feral territory, so we be on our toes. More samples. Yeah, all the time. All right, well, seeing as we've managed to park there without causing mischief, can't let that guy muddy the water. Terrible shot. Fuel pumps as well. Let's do this quiet and buy the numbers. The zombies dropping in like that. There's no point losing control of this situation. Let's do a quick check and see what we can get on our wit skill. Shinobi. Yes, absolutely. Maybe we go for discipline. 
Nah, we'll get the special one. Sounds like there's a bloater nearby. So our considerations at this stage are a play card is is on the horizon for sure to take out. Yeah, we, we definitely have to we have to make the effort. Right, we do need more resources than what we've got. So in the meantime we'll just continue to collect resources and upskill our characters. So we can't carry as much uh, as big a stacks as we could anymore because the fabricator gave us plus two stacks which is pretty good but we need fire to take on a play cart and just having two extra painkillers or something like that is not going to make the difference taking no chances taking every single crossbow bolt we can find and recover because that's pretty much all we got although that's not entirely true back at base we do have 144 bullets okay, we might try and take the car up there or we might not a long way to go without a vehicle but a vehicle will set everything off I want to check those fuel pumps because we might find some fuel put on a burst of speed should be pretty clear through here what's the bet it's uh no it's not tapped out Excellent. So we could even find two rucks here, which would be a nice problem to have. There we go. Workshop two. So two things there. We can build a suppressor. So let's get with that. It's not a very good one, but it's built. The other thing we can do is build more, uh, make more parts. And we can stash in here. A bike generator. So we can pedal the bike, make some power, and make fuel bombs. Which is why I'm trying to get more fuel here, because uh, we'll need a lot of them. Getting heavy. Now he's going to see me. But I do have Shinobi. Just got to get all the stuff out and get it out for free. Just continue to build our influence up. 4,000 is a lot for that base. Wow, well, we've got all the gas tanks in the world. All the gas cans, sorry. We've got a gas tank for the one vehicle. We would love another vehicle. If I get some scent block, I'll go get the other vehicle. Ridiculously low number of vehicles. So that. Oh my word. That vehicle is essentially the other member of my community. Catch my breath. Wow, so Remy has not been doing a lot of cardio. That's the thing about s stealth. You tend to use a little less cardio. Because you're not giving away your position as much. And you're not running away as much. Or running around as much, even. Okay, decent haul. Is 
day five. Let's get this stuff back to base. So in terms of who would go for the who would go for the play card anyway? Should it be Remy with the incredible immune system or should it be Bones with Unbreakable? Or should we use someone who's a little more expendable? Problem is, if I use someone expendable, they'll probably be expended. They're doing alright here though. This is a pretty good start. Pretty good start to this episode. Got a bit of loot. You see, this this is an opportunity where we could take out a play cart close to these guys and, and kind of, I don't know, in a way, practice. But on the other hand... Hang on, is there a play card in the front? No, there wouldn't be, surely. Surely there isn't a play card inside the fire compound. Because see, this one says threats, four. You see up at top left, under the um, under the name of the base, the Red Talon, Red Talon Daybreak, it says threats, four. Down here, it says none. So that could actually have a play card in it. As could Pterodactyl Park. Jeez Louise. Boom. He's our guy. Okay. Let's chuck some gas in that thing. And head off. I'm not sure how much stamina or how much fatigue Remy's got left. It's that is enough to get there and back. Whether we should swap out. I think we're going to swap him out. We'll, we'll take someone else. Nice work. Alright, we'll give him... That. And that. And a side arm. Oh, no, there's the... Uh, Here's the PPSH, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, so Bones, does Bones want to do something? Bones wants an infestation situation taken out. Um, that could be good, I guess. But not right now. I think we're going to take Song out for a run. And we're going to a trader, so we'll definitely take something to trade. Yeah, that's done. So we should be able to spin that up. Now let's equip ourselves. We want that and that. There we go. Starting to look the business now. And we're not looking for trouble, so we'll just take normal painkillers. We'll take some snacks. No, we won't. We'll, we'll take some energy drinks. Because that way, if we get into trouble, we can get the heck out. And cleanly get out, not just waste our snacks. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, we have no plague cure. So we'll take one of those. And... You know, I don't think we need fire. But what we're doing, we just want to trade. And right, I think that's about all we want to trade. We've got three portable generators. We don't need three portable generators. I'm carrying a bit much right now. You'll be fine. Alright, so we just got one clip because we are seriously not looking for any trouble. Oh, 
I believe this is going to be Song's first kill. That's your first hit. Right. Way, way up here. So hopefully it's going to be on the main drag. It's going to be that area. Because oof, otherwise it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long drive. And into perilous areas. But the reason we're doing this is because we should be able to um, buy a medium vehicle upgrade kit. Which will enable us to upgrade this vehicle. Which will give us a more uh, robust vehicle. And it will also increase our trunk space. All of these things are important. Especially the trunk space. This should clear up. You're not taking out any play card song. You're just here giving the uh, the main crew a rest. Although, as a mechanic, you are a valued member of the community. And a believer. And that's all you need to be. We got your back. That's why we're sending you on this, hopefully, fairly straightforward mission to test out your skills test out your strengths test out how lucky you are does the game hate you more than my other characters it's not looking good so far I've got to say wow so if we come up here we'll probably trigger a few of the Trumbull Valley map missions off I think all right, so somewhere up here we were expecting to see. So not this place, not the next one up, the one after that. Hey Doc, we got some unwelcome visitors. Uh huh. What the hell do you think you're doing here? Calm down, Nikki. They might be able to help us. Come up to the station, will you? Mickey will behave himself, I promise. Okay. I couldn't make it past that gate, so we'll give it another go. Couldn't make it through the gate. So, this way, huh? So, play cart, follow this road, hang a left. Be lucky. Hey, no zombies here. Sorry, Bones. Not doing the captain's mission. All right, we're going to find stuff in here. Excellent. This all helps. We need to upskill and get every last resource. If we rush into taking on play cards too early, we could be in big trouble. So that should enable us to make... Your bombs. Boom. And here's our first here's our first drop. You have to keep an eye out for when the scavenge completes as well. I'm excited to see what kind of consumables we get and how many. Remember I spent three ammo and some labor on it. And some of them. Is it still going? It is. One minute twenty-one. I've left the door open because if there's any stragglers, I don't want them banging on the door. I should hear them coming, so I should be all right. But if it's just one zombie and it bangs on the door, they can bring others. If I thought there were a lot of zombies around, I would definitely shut the door. Okay, where are we going from here? We're going up to the end and then we're going to hang a left. Check out this house. And if not, then it's by a lake. Oh, yeah, the lakes. There's, there's stuff around the lakes, isn't there? Oh, load up. Ooh. 
Ooh, that sounded like a feral pack. Sure was. Okay, is this the area? It is, but there's a play cart there which complicates things. Stimulants, stimulants. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! That was freaking lucky, although I would almost call that a uh, unfair. Oh, more stuff. Okay, let's get out. Whatever is happening here, it's not a lot of fun. It's not finished off yet. That was lucky. Okay, where might this trader be? In this lumber shed? Probably not. I mean, we've got like three hours or something that I've got to find the trader, so we might just zip in here, see what we can find. Problem is, if they spawn in, they'll start thumping on the door and bring those other ones over. So risky, but worth doing. So because there are a lot of them, I will close the door. Okay, we're going to loot this place out. Then I'm going to have another look at the map and figure out how I might get to a wandering trader. Without getting That's eaten as much as I can carry. or losing my vehicle. That was so close. If I flip that vehicle... That's actually handy. They are sounding closer and closer all the time. Yes. Good find. Okay, so... Shut. Let's get back to my vehicle. State of Decay 1 style. So, is he in there or is he in south? Was that? South. Far up. I don't really know this area at all. And dropped off the stuff I was carrying, so I'm carrying way too much. Ah, I see. I'm carrying a bit much right now. That'll do for now. So we've got either there or that shed over there. Oh, we'll go for the closest, huh? Be careful, try not to get too close to the house. Yes. I want to get too close to the house, because if they spawn in, that'll be a pain in the butt. Hi, Paul. Here. Buy that, buy that off me, buy that. And what's he got? He's got light vehicle, medium vehicle. See, I have to buy both of them. It's going to make me buy both of them. Arrgh, 800. That's crazy. That's so much. You see down the bottom, I've only got an option to buy. That's pretty heavy. So, all right, we'll keep both of those. You can only buy both of those as well. They're advanced suppressors, though. That's fine. 
That's fine. Let's search this place up. If we find anything tradable, we can trade it right here. Who knows what we might find. A chem station. A chem station would be good. Oh, I'm not going to say no to materials. We've found two lots of materials. I'm sorry to bother you, but we could use a sheriff out here. If you need any help with that, I'm in. Don't like picking sides just in case it's two of my friends. I don't like confrontation. Not with the living anyway. No, I found another play card. It's hard to take that guy seriously. Again, back up and over, keeping our distance from the house. Laborious, yes. Being attacked by zombies, no. Because we are miles from anywhere. So if we get into trouble, I mean, the issue is, when you're out in these kind of parts of the woods, miles from your bases, you might say, okay, I can get out of trouble if I need to. But can you do it twice? Because you might need to do it twice. 40 pounds. Jeepers creepers. Um, okay, we're just going to drop that. Where are we? Okay. Um, do we go back there and sell them the other stuff? Or take what we've got and get out of here. I think we're going to take what we got and get out of here. Um, I'm not sure whether we should go further up. Start those missions yet. There's a lot of thinking going on. I'm sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't make for the most exciting play, but at the same time, it makes for the most alive. All right, we need to get back and cheer some people up. All right, so we came through here, past the feral pack. Oh, shit. That was their fault because there was a bloater in the way. I had to reverse up. All right, probably cheered people up. Report that one down the radio. Oh, that's a bloated gland. Uh, that's an army of the dead. Including ferals. Fast ferals. Dangerous ferals. Oof. And a bloater that I did not see there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back to our outpost at least. It's on the other side of Spencer's Mill. We can drop off the important stuff. Wow. Uh, car's clanking already. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. I don't know. I look around me and I think I'd be glad for every second on this earth. I was just trying to get the juggernaut a bit closer to that hostile enclave. Got a pretty good chance of taking them out, depending on how good their guns are. They've got 762 semi-autos, then uh, could be a long day for the juggernaut. Okay. This is quite a load I'm carrying. Right, let's get the stuff put away. So we didn't quite get to sell everything that we wanted to sell because it was a bit dangerous to do so. But on the other hand, look what we did come back with. Can't be too upset with that. And can I have I got another repair kit? We've just got to keep maintaining the vehicles. Doesn't look like we do. 
No, but we can make one or we can trade for one. Uh, right, so these guys have stuff that they can trade. As does Ray Santos. So we let's just check our number of stims now because we might do that again. Ten stims. Where can we get some more ammo? We can. That's looted. Uh, there's a few items left in it, but not too many. Um, who might have ammo? Ray might have ammo. R it's a risky trip out there. These guys might have ammo. Tell you what, if we get our car back to base and upgrade it, it'll repair automatically, and yeah, we'll we'll put that into storage, and it should also come with some additional goodies in the in the trunk, so that's what we're going to do. I remembered. Uh, oh, yep. For a moment there, I thought I'd gone past this intersection, and last time I went down there, it was all bad. All bad. I can't flip my car because that will be it for my car unless I go back with a follower. Geez, since I put that rule in, I'm really nervous driving. If I flip my car, I can only unflip it with a uh, with a follower. That's crazy. I didn't realize there'd be so few vehicles. There's like none. Okay. Uh, just make sure we've got enough of everything to so that we don't waste that. Now let's upgrade it. Cost us 800. But holy heck, look at that. Ah, oh, where are my goodies? Usually it spawns with goodies. There are no goodies to be had. Rats. Still, full tank of fuel. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Look, I'm I'm feeling that we might have a go at a play cart. So, how much influence have we got? And who could possibly do it? We've got bones. See, pretty low on cardio. They're all pretty low on cardio because I've had to sneak about. We're gonna have to do a bit more, uh, bit more fighting. Yeah, we need to upgrade our guys first. Unfortunately, I think if we go ahead too early, we will be done like a dinner. Nope. Lots and lots of uh, impromptu toilet paper will be those banknotes. Cool. Now, anyway, I think we'll call the episode there while I scratch my head and think about what to do next. I'm not quite ready for a play cart, but there can't be one far away. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to front up at some point. But we need to upgrade our cardio and our fighting for our two key members, which is Bones and Remy, because they're the ones who are gonna carry the load when it comes to fighting. So, yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to lose them before they're ready. So, hmm, we might do a training run. Might do a training run. We'll see you in the next episode. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, please hit that like on the way out. You've been watching Guru Kakite. Bye for now.